He's a nine, but he has poor hygiene. He's a six, but he has a car and can drive. He's a 10, but he's still hung up on his ex. He's a nine, but he's terrified of bugs. He's a seven, but gets jealous easily. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liana and welcome to my life. We're getting straight into a trend that is popping on TikTok. As you would have read by today's title, it is pretty much, he's a 10 but, or he's a four but. I'm searching on Google and I've come across some pretty funny ones on TikTok and I wanted to actually do this with Tanisha, but she and I's schedules haven't been lining up. Anybody please comment down below and let me know if you've been feeling like something weird. Something is changing in the world lately. Honestly, there's such like a shift of like, I don't know if this is universal, but a lot of people I've spoken to and it's like feeling lost at the moment and just what am I doing? Like, where am I? That's for another video, I guess. If you guys want to see me go deep, deep dive, give the video a thumbs up. He's a 10, but he's rude to service staff. That is my one of my most biggest pet peeves. If you're rude to like a waiter or a cafe worker or anybody who serves you out in public. You're an instant zero in my eyes. Instant zero. You need to have respect for the people who are doing things for you. He's a nine, but he has poor hygiene. Sorry, poor hygiene is a deal breaker. I'm being brutal. That is literally a zero. That's just not going to work. It means we're not compatible. He's a four, but he dresses well. Okay, that like brings you up. Maybe by two. I'll say a six. <laughs> He's a six, but he has a car and can drive. I feel like if you're of age, you should just have that. So you're gonna stay a six. He's a 10, but he follows a bunch of random Instagram models. Oh, it could be a potential red flag. So maybe like a seven. He's a four, but he has good music taste. Five, I'll allow it. I feel like these type of things aren't gonna shoot you to the, to the moon, but it's gonna bring you up a notch. He's a 10, but acts like a baby when he doesn't get what he wants. Instant zero. That shows me that like you're not mature. You don't have your stuff together. Quite frankly, I don't think we're compatible. He's a five, but he's organized. Seven. He's a 10, but he's still hung up on his ex, minus 10. There's nothing worse than listening to someone t harping on, harping on and on about like their, their ex or their like past relationships. He's a nine, but he's terrified of bugs. Honestly, it's not that much of a deal breaker to me because I'm terrified of bugs that if you're terrified, it's kind of like a fun bonding experience. I feel like we're both just screaming, throwing slides at the wall, a few thongs here and there. But yeah, I think that's a bonding moment actually. He's a five, but has a good sense of direction. That's really useful in the practical world. So I'm going to say six. I've lived in this place for 19 years and I'm still like, oh my God, when did that get there? Oh my God, is that new? No, Liana, it's been there for seven years. He's a 10, but he asks you to split the bill on the first date. <laughs> oh, that just instantly gave me a few like, few chills there. Everyone's different, but in my cultural upbringing, um, I don't know. I think you're out of the running instantly. I don't even think there's a number for you. He's a three, but he hates the same things as you. I kind of love that. Like if we can both hate the same things, I feel like you're just going to make us only stronger and more love. I will say six. He's a five, but he's a good listener. I honestly don't think the score changes there. You're still a five to me. Everyone should be able to listen. He's a nine, but does the wave at baseball games. I feel like that's fun. It shows you have a bit of personality, you know? You're not afraid to like have a little bit of fun, let loose. He's a four, but he's kind to animals. Once again, I'm going to say four. What did the animal do to be not kind to it? You know, just let it be. Just move on with your day. Like, why do we need him? We don't need to move the mark for that one. He's a six, but he's always early. What if I'm late? Actually, that's a controversial one. Because if I'm 10 minutes late and you're... 10 minutes early then there's a 20 minute window there and um someone's getting angry he's a seven but gets jealous easily anyone who gets really jealous easily that's like so off-putting because it's like then you feel like you're treading on eggshells you're a bit uncomfortable feel like you have to justify yourself so i'll give a two he's a four but he takes amazing pictures of you instantly like i'm gonna say 7.5 that's gonna that's gonna knock you up a bit because it's hard to like photos of yourself he's a 10 but doesn't use deodorant that's like the start thing. Poor hygiene, zero. You're out of the running. We're not compatible. He's a four, but he can cook. I feel like that's really nice. That's like Davide from Love Island. Six. <laughs> I'm being hardcore, as I should. He's a four, but he's your age and on your flight. This is like an unspoken thing that every young person goes through. Jet setters, looking around. Ten. <laughs> it's temporary, so let's just give it a temporary ten. He's a two, but has a really nice smile. You know, as much as that is cute, it's not going to help you in the long run. 2.5. 2.5. He's a 10, but gets stuck in a revolving door. That's like an ick. I should make an ick video. Give it a thumbs up if you want me to make an ick video. That is really funny and random. Get stuck in a revolving door. You are looking at each other through the glass like, ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna give that a seven. We're gonna go down. But once again, it's temporary. It's not like a lifelong thing. It's probably just in the moment you're a seven. And then the second you're out of the door and you kind of go back to be a 10. He's a five, but he's funny. I feel like... I won't be even speaking to you if you're not funny. So I'll, I'll, I'll say seven. He's a three, but says he's six foot five. Eleven. <laughs> he's a ten, but he gives you driving anxiety. So my mother, a three. If you're going to make me anxious on the road, if we can't vibe, and you're making me on edge to literally turn the corner. Okay. My car is literally possessed. He's a ten, but he's dumb. I don't have the time of day for it. So I'm just going to say four. He's a 10, but replies once every two to three business days. You're instantly out of the running. Okay, I'm going to go on another website. 15 funniest tweets about the viral he's a 10, but trend. He's a 10, but he's impossibly fast and strong. His skin is pale white and ice cold. His eyes change color, and sometimes he speaks like he's from a different time. He never eats or drinks anything. He doesn't go out in the sunlight. Edward Cullen, I already know that's a twilight thing. You lost me, he never eats or drinks anything. Oh, hungry, thirsty gal, are you kidding me? We are not compatible. He's a 10, but his homeboys are too. Actually, maybe that like averages it out to like a group seven. That doesn't make logic, but it does. He's a 10, but doesn't call you the bane of his existence and the object of all his desires. What's that from? The bane of my existence and the object of all my desires. Oh my God. Oh my god, it's Bridgerton. Surely that's Bridgerton. I had to read it in the accent because I was getting some British. Love that. That is a 10. I'm actually going to even go ahead and say maybe a 12. He's a 10 but doesn't like Taylor Swift. That's a hard one because I'm not like a diehard Swifty. But like if you're not going to sing 22 with me at the top of your lungs in my car, it's probably not going to work out. He's a 10, but he spilled beer on your friend at a Halloween party and he's not sorry. Nothing irks me more than when firstly someone does my friend wrong, especially ruining the fit. You are a minus 100. Don't speak to me. Leave the party. And with that, um, that has concluded my little segment. I just feel like I'm in a really chatty mood, but like I said in the beginning of the video, I could get into a whole deep dive. But I don't know if you guys want to see that, like the emotional, personal more side. I feel like I want to make sushi tonight. And other than that, that sounded foul. 